First at 530, guilty of arson. That's the verdict handed down today in a Virginia Beach courtroom. Thanks for watching. I'm Laura Queso. And I'm Stephanie Harris. A judge decided when Shannon Kaysen set his home on fire last year, it was on purpose. Ten in your signs, Jason Marks was in the court today for the verdict. He joins us now outside of the courthouse. Jason, what's the reaction from Kaysen's attorney? Well, as you can imagine, Stephanie, uh, Shannon Kaysen's attorney, George Yates, was not happy with this verdict. He believes that in this case, the judge just did not get it right. I'm sad for, uh, for Shannon because I don't think he's guilty. After two days of testimony, a Virginia Beach judge ruled that Shannon Kaysen intentionally set a fire at his home last year. It wasn't a wrongful act. I didn't agree with the judge's ruling on what malice really is. Kaysen's attorney, George Yates, didn't argue with the facts of the case. Kaysen was drunk and used a lighter and a Lysol can to create a blowtorch. He set a t-shirt on fire, which quickly spread. Yates says it was careless, but not criminal. He did a, he did a kind of a silly, stupid thing, and then it just, it just snowballed, and it just kind of got away from him. And he just made a series of mistakes on top of mistakes. The judge told Kaysen he made no effort to put the fire out and left the burning home without calling 911. Even worse, he didn't let the sleeping neighbors next door know there was a fire. You would think uh, he, he should have done something different under the circumstances, but he just didn't under the, under the pressure of the moment. Kaysen took the stand in his own defense and sobbed throughout the testimony. He said he simply panicked. There's no client I've had that has been more remorseful, more sorry for the mistake he made. No one was injured, but three homes were damaged. Yates told the court there was no reason for Kaysen to commit arson. He had no motive. He had no insurance. He had a happy marriage. Uh, he had no reason to do it. He burned up his own house that his children live in. Kaysen's conviction means he could spend years in prison. And for that, Yates says it's a shame. Justice, I do not believe, has been done in this case. And George Yates plans to appeal this decision by the judge today. I can tell you that Kaysen is looking at some serious time. He looks at, looking at a minimum of 15 years in prison and a maximum of three life sentences. That's the latest here in Virginia Beach. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.